टूडे वी विल लर्न साउंडनेस टेस्ट ऑफ सीमेंट एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू वेरीफाई द साउंडनेस ऑफ सीमेंट बाई ली चैटलियर एपरेटस मेथड थ्यूरी एंड स्कोप सीमेंट इज सेट टू बी इट डज नॉट अंडर गो सिग्निफिकेंट वॉल्यूम चेंज ड्यूरिंग हार्डनिंग प्रोसेस एंड इट इज प्रिज्यूम टू बी अनसाउंड वेन द परसेंटेज ऑफ फ्री टाइम एंड मैग्नीसिया इज मोर देन दैट स्पेसिफाइड हाउ एवर द अनसाउंडनेस मे बी रिड्यूस्ड बाई लिमिटिंग द मैग्नीसिया कॉन्टेंट टू लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट बाई अलाउंग द सीमेंट टू एरेट फॉर सेवरल डेज एंड दो प्रॉपर मिक्सिंग देर आर टू मेथड्स बाई विच द साउंडनेस ऑफ सीमेंट कैन बी डिटरमाइंड नेमली वन ली चैटलियर मेथड एंड टू ऑटो क्लेब मेथड इन ली चैटलियर टेस्ट The expansion in cement should not be more than 10 mm according to IS 269. However, it may be noted that expansion due to the presence of free lime only is mostly reflected in Lee Chatelier's test. In this method, the field condition of exposure of cement to natural weathering agent is stimulated by accelerated hydration due to boiling of the specimen in water in the laboratory. Apparatus required: 1. Lee Chatelier apparatus. Two, glass plate. Two number. Three, load weight. Four, trowel. Five, thermometer. Six, measuring cylinder. Seven, enamel tray. Eight, weighing balance. Nine, water bath. Ten, stopwatch. Figure shows you Lee Chatelier apparatus. Material required: one, ordinary Portland cement of around fifty grams. The sample is to be taken in accordance with the requirement of IS 3535 and the representative sample of the cement selected is to be thoroughly mixed before testing. 2. Portable or distilled water. Procedure: About 50 g W of cement of non-normal consistency P is weighed for each mold. Next, the amount of water equal to 0.78 P into W measured with the help of measuring cylinder where P and W are as defined above next the cement sample and water are mixed properly to form a paste next the brass spilled cylinder mold is placed one glass plate and the above cement paste is filled up in it next care is taken to keep the edge of the mold gently together while filling the cement paste in the mold Next the split cylinder with sample is covered with another piece of glass plate and the lead weight is placed over it the above assembly is submerged in fresh and clean water maintained at temperature of 27 plus minus 2 degrees celsius and kept it there for 24 hours next after curing the distance separating the indicator point is accurately measured in mm next Again the mold is submerged in water at the same above prescribed temperature in water container or water bath. Next the water in the water bath is allowed to boil for 3 hours with the mold kept submerged in it by raising the temperature to boiling point in about 25 to 30 minutes. Then the mold is removed from water allowed to cool in natural manner and the distance between the indicator point is measured. The difference between the two measurements represent the Lee Chatelier expansion of cement on hydrogen. Precautions: one, weighing of the cement and measurement of water is to be done accurately. Two, the edge of the split cylinder mold is to be kept together gently while filling it with the cement paste. Three, gauging time three to five minutes is to be maintained from addition of water to the cement till the mold is filled up. Four. Mold is to be handled carefully while conducting the test otherwise the dimension of the specimen may change due to disturbance of the gap between the two zones 5 the temperature of water in the bath is to be correctly maintained result average value of lee chatelier expansion of the cement has been found to be in mm The expansion of the cement as measured by Lee Chatelier apparatus is not to be more than 10 mm for ordinary Portland cement, rapid hardening cement, low heat Portland cement and blast furnace slag cement. Reference 1 IS4031 Method of physical test for hydraulic cement part 3 Determination of soundness of cement